Hi, what's up guys? I'm Shauke from Legend Effects and in this After Effects tutorial I'll show you how to generate your 3D logo, how to extrude any 2D composition without any plugin, in a simple and a short way. Give your logo the 3D look you want in just few minutes. Enjoy! In a new After Effects project file, I'll right click on the project panel create a new composition. Let's rename this composition logo. I will keep the size 1000 by 1000 pixel as a square big square composition. Hit OK. Now I will double click on the project panel, import one of the compositions that I want to extrude as a 3D logo. I will click for example on the Real Madrid logo. I will import that. I will drag and drop my composition inside the logo. Hit S on the keyboard. Update the scale so it fits the composition size. Now I'll create a new composition. It will be a square too, but I'll rename it Master Logo. I will drag my old composition inside my new composition Master Logo. With the logo layer selected, I'll right click, I will add an effect, Obsolete, Luma Key. With Alt pressed on the keyboard, I will click on the threshold parameter. I will write the following expression. Index multiplied by 10. I will increase the, log the edge feather to 10. Now I will add new effect perspective drop shadow. I will keep the default parameter, just I will update the softness 20. Now, I will turn it 3D layer. I will activate the custom view. I will zoom a little bit. And I will update the position parameter. I will hit P on the keyboard to reveal the position parameter. I will, with Alt pressed on the keyboard, I will click on the stopwatch of the position. I will enter the following expression. Open the brackets, keep the X value 500, comma, keep the Y value 500, comma, but just write the following expression, minus index. Close the brackets. Now, I'll select the logo layer and with Ctrl D on the keyboard, I'll try to duplicate to make 26 copies. Ctrl D, D. And see it here 20 25 26 as you can see here I have the logo started to be extruded now what I have to do I'll have to drag my master logo inside a new composition but I'll update the composition size composition setting I'll make it my default size HDTV 1920 by 1080 hit OK I will turn it to 3D layer but don't forget to turn on the collapse transformation I will add a new camera I will switch the view to my active camera just I have here to switch off my depth of field. Let's update, navigate with the camera to update the view. Now I want to increase the 3D aspect of the logo. So hit S on the keyboard with the master logo selected. Turn off the constraint proportion and update the Z axis 300 for example. Here you can see our logo is extruded and everything looks fine. Now I will add the magic effect. I will select my master logo. I will search for the CC plastic. Double click. So now I have a 3D logo extruded just using After Effects. Now I will add a background to my logo. 
I'll right click on my timeline, create a new solid, a blue color, and let's make the size 2000 by 2000, I want it bigger. I'll make it 3D layer, I'll push it behind my logo, I'll scale it, scale it up, I'll add the effect hex tile, hexagonal tiles, double click and right click again new solid, I keep the same color just this time it's a standard layer not 3d layer I'll drop it behind my previous layer but this time I'll add the bevel effect perspective bevel alpha if I want to enhance more my composition I'll right click new adjustment layer I'll drag the adjustment layer behind my logo I'll add the effect color correction exposure I'll decrease the gamma zoom back I'll choose the ellipse tool I'll try to create an ellipse tool to define the region of the effect the exposure effect I will increase the mask feather but I will invert my layer as you can see here I have my composition ready you can play with the setting to get a better look If you want to go further, Ctrl A, collapse all the layers, and now I'll try to update my main logo composition. So I'll open my logo composition, I'll double click here, import any of other images, drop it. If you can see here, I'll scale it, I'll go back to my master logo tool and you'll see your logo is updated you have a 3d extruded logo i can try with the others go back to my logo The effect is working fine. You can enhance your composition with more effects. For example, if you select your master logo, which is the logo that you created already 3D, and you right click and color correction, tree tone, and let's say you will choose to make it like a golden logo. And let's open the light presets and give it a yellowish look. Here you have your logo but with golden style. I'll go back to my logo, I'll try to update update it with one other design. I'll scale it up. You can play with the plastic CC plastic setting here. The surface bump, I'll make it five. Can still play with the shading, decrease the dust, decrease the roughness, or increase it. Maybe. 
here we are reaching the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed that and see you next time. If you like my tutorial, don't forget please to subscribe to my channel, feel free to leave any comment, and by the way, you can download all the project files from the link in the description.